we had a 12 pound tractor pull pull over 120 pounds. Manitoba Robot Games, it sounds intense, and quite frankly it is. Youth from all over the province come together to design software, build robots that can see for themselves, or pull some serious weight. It's a bunch of toys, it's, it's made like Furry Sumo is my favorite. It's, it's you're driving a big bulldozer and ramming others, they're just still flying, it's awesome. Students from grade 1 to 12 compete in 16 different categories, all trying to win with the best robotic creation. It's not just fun in games, at this event, 15 of the competitions have monetary rewards, plaques, and trophies. But if you ask the participants, it's about honing a passion. I like working with machines and robots, and I like to do with a little bit of programming. It's a good competition. You learn how to code and what 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 you have to do. Like uh, the, the machines are all a bit different to wire, so it's a lot of difference. And you also learn how to multitask like crazy. So it's it's a lot of fun. It gives them mechanical electric electrical experience. It gives them a guarantee of problem solving. First rule of robots, robots break. You have to fix them. We're often working with others. That's teamwork. Teamwork skills and problem solving skills are needed in industry. We need more technical people. This produces technical people. The event is on its 24th anniversary. In that time, Herb Reynolds has seen plenty of young engineers compete, return, get better, smarter, and more creative every year. That's why they've upped the compete level this time around, adding autonomous categories, where the robots you build will have to follow routes on their own. It's a tricky endeavor for even the seasoned veterans. It's a bit of a gamble. If you got a code right, it all depends which way your, uh, your machine turns, what it sees, and all that. The question on my mind was, how does a first grader build these robots? The answer varies. Some blueprints and hints can be found online, but the bulk of the theory and creation falls upon these young creators and their parents. There are three levels of machines, Robo Critter, Mini sumo and super scrambler basically they range from rc cars to full-fledged battering rams the passion is palpable at these competitions which is why the event was first created to help sculpt the minds of young engineers reynolds says past competitors now have careers in the tech sector and a whole new generation is cutting their teeth as well one smash up at a time sometimes the motor falls off it doesn't work a hand breaks off yeah you have to learn how to fix things. I would recommend coming here. It's fun and very good for the education. In Winnipeg, Mike Albanese, City News.